we can just get back to the party. <laughs> well, you're welcome to get uh, raise any question. We might uh, accept a few of them. So anyone have the like to ask Ruben any question? Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Uh, Hamad, uh, you are the, the President of the United States and Taiwan's uh, Business Council. And I have a question, uh, two questions. Is what did Taiwan, for the time being, they should do and they did do it? And second question is for the, no. the running of the time, which is for mainland China or Taiwan. The competition of the future of business and uh, prospect. The second question is the timing. Is it it's good for Taiwan or it's good for mainland China? Uh, whatever. And as a as a president of United States, uh, a business concept. What's your stand up point? <laughs> I, I think if I ask, thank you very much for the question. Um, to me, I, again, I would come back to that last point I made about the essential role that Taiwan plays in respect to U.S. policy. Taiwan is a democracy. It is an open society. It has a free and open media. The U.S. has spent the last 70 years focused on supporting exactly this kind of, of, of evolution, political evolution, for countries. And Taiwan, in my view, is easily the best example in Asia of what that, what, what, what that can represent. So when I look at China and the direction that China is going, particularly in, in the age of Xi Jinping, I see China and Taiwan heading in very different directions. Politically, um, I make no comment about the sovereignty issues, perhaps privately, if we want to have a beer, we can talk about it. But for the purposes here, I, I, I'm not going to. But I choose Taiwan. Um, there's one, uh, there's, from a business standpoint, I think Taiwan has one huge critical advantage right now. And that was a decision that was made about 10 years ago when um, the intellectual property right enforcement in Taiwan and the laws and regulations guiding it were significantly improved. I think in large part from the from internal pressure from people like Stan Shear, Maurice Jung, Matthew Miao, and some of the, the tech CEOs, as well as external pressure, but it has created a real tech, technical advantage for companies to invest, and that's why I think you see companies like Corning and um, Qualcomm and others uh, having significant base of operations as well as um, companies like TSMC continuing to invest at the highest level, 300 millimeter, maybe 450 when we get there, um, looking at Taiwan. So I would say Taiwan first. Thank you. Very good. Any other uh, question? Well, Ruben, before uh, next question, I would like to ask, by reading your resume, uh, you talk about the uh, Bauer uh, Group Asia. Can you introduce us a little bit? Um, I, I have the privilege also of working for an Asia consultancy called Bauer Group Asia. It's a pan-Asian consultancy. We, we have offices in almost every country in Asia and um, it's, uh, our, our job is to partner with mostly American companies, we have some European clients as well, um, to help them in some of the companies, excuse me, in some of the countries of Asia that they need support in. Um, I run the, the Taiwan office there as well, we have some very good clients, I'm not allowed to say who they are, but we do, um, very tech heavy, um, but in, in, in economies like India, Indonesia, Malaysia, um, Vietnam, countries that Taiwan is always already very active in. Um, we have offices and there's a significant amount of interest amongst the American business community in, in focusing on Southeast Asia. Um, as that is actually, I think, generally as a, as a policy for um, 
for Taiwan. In fact, you can go back to Li Donghui's Go South policy, which was uh, in the sort of mid to late 90s. Um, and I think that's sort of been renamed several times, but Taiwan's still very focused on Southeast Asia. As are we. Thank you. Any further question? Okay. Uh, as you know, uh, Rupert is the uh, managing director for the uh, the organization I just mentioned, Bauer Group Asia, and as a managing director, that is a think tank helping you know, to develop the security and the uh, defense. And Rupert is really, really a person that uh, an expert in uh, Taiwanese uh, uh, politics and economy. So I think uh, it's time for the Chamber of Congress to show a small token to your effort. And I would like to invite the President up here before uh, Sudun presented. If you open your program book, there's a uh, uh, poem we write for the uh, ruber in the Mandarin we show the uh, Rupo Fei I know and then he talk about the Taiwan Jing Mao. So Ru Xie Xiang Yi Zhi Mei Tai Bo Jie Guang Fei Li Jin Wan Hui Xi Tao Tao Huan Jiu Jing Zhang Huan Tai Ping Xin Cai Mao. So in the English translation I put it that Rupert's reputation is known all over Taiwan and the United States. His owner visit to the San Francisco Bay Area. He incisively talked about the uh, global trade. Rupert informs us TPP will benefit to Taiwan's economy. So let's head here. Yeah. So, In DC, it's an icy, snowy, and he still take care of all the travel issue and come to you as he promised. Thanks, Rupert again. Thank you. Appreciate it.